Hey everybody, John C. Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. Hey Lulu, good to see you today. Lulu's sporting a fun outfit today. Let's just oh. jump right into that. Lulu's got her security yeah. outfit on today. She's got her hoodie because it's been a little chilly here. Have you noticed that? Uh, freezing. It has been freezing. freezing. I, I wanted to make sure I left my jacket on today. It was so cold. It was like, I think the high today is 72. Yeah, that's, that's cold for Florida. Cold. I know a lot of you out there are laughing at us because we're talking about 72 is cold, but it has been cold. <laughs> we got laughter today. <laughs> Love it. Right on cue. Um, but yeah, it's been cold. And uh, so she's got her security jacket on for us today. Why does she have a security jacket? What's well, going on? Why is she keeping us safe? She whispered in my ear and she said, you know, Mama, you guys have almost 200 followers and you're going to need security. That's a lot of followers, 200. It is. It's very exciting. Before Christmas, we were talking about 100, and now we're up to 200, and Lulu's right up by the camera. Smile for the camera, Lulu. <gasps> Let's see. How, anyways, but thank you, everybody, who's out there watching these videos. Thank you for liking and subscribing to our videos. We are so thankful for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyways, uh, so thanks for your security, Lulu. We appreciate that. Hey, we are here to educate, entertain. And connect connect people with other people so let's do that today mm -hmm. I feel like we're kind of uh, a comedian show today so let's jump into the uh, market update a little bit first Ooh. Yeah. what's going on in the real estate market since last week when we talked anything changed much there in the real estate market you're taking a deep breath you're really thinking heavy about what's going on in the real estate market yeah. is there heavy stuff going on well with interest rates um, they're they're getting heavy are it's, they yeah it's getting heavy it's um it's been very interesting, mm. very entertaining to say the least. Mm. Um, learning all about jobs reports and yep. how much fluff they could truly be. They can be fluff. Yeah. And the rates, they seem to be where right now compared to a week ago when we talked? About the same. About we're, the same. we're okay right now. Yeah. So nothing too crazy. They moved them up a little bit and they're kind of holding them steady. I feel like you kind of predicted that like a month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. they, would, they would kind of go up and then they would kind of hold firm yep. uh, for a little while. But they are going to move them up a few times this year, right? For Inventory's sure. crazy low still here in Southwest Florida. There are not very many homes for sales. Condos, same thing. I don't really usually distinguish between condos and homes. And then also throw into the mix land. There's just not much inventory out there right now. Buyers are really having to, you know, go pretty heavy at or above asking price still. Uh, I wrote an offer yesterday and we were about 10% over asking price mm -hmm. and we still did not get the contract. Um, so it's uh, very competitive out there. Extremely competitive. Um, I've also noticed though that a lot of people that have been sitting on the fence have stopped. Mm. Um, a lot of the people that have been trying to get offers accepted, they were accepted. Mm, uh, I had a huge influx of accepted offers this weekend. Awesome. Um, it was uh, pretty exciting to yeah. say the least. So that is I think exciting. that's you know a, a solid sign that it's you know a great time right it is now. A great time. Yeah, I had one last week. Same thing. Offer came in, or I had a buyer from up in Wisconsin. They're looking at condos, and I've shown them I think five condos. Got one under contract last week on a condo. But the offer, we put it right in at asking price, didn't ask for stipulations, contingencies, made it real clean as possible and got accepted. So it's still able to be done. So if you're a buyer out there, don't be discouraged. Don't think, hey, I'm never gonna get a house. It is possible. Um, work with somebody good, like Denise and I. We'll help yeah. you get it. <laughs> exactly. Toot toot, toot my own horn. All right, uh, let's see. So that's a market update. What are we thankful for this week? Are we thankful for anything? We just passed Valentine's Day. Mm. What a wonderful Valentine's Day, right? Beautiful I mean, just Valentine's wonderful. Day. The love is in the air. Love is in the air. You got the Lulu love right here. the Lulu here. love. Karen had her HR event. Um, yes. That was fantastic. And not by accident not on by Valentine's accident. Day. Yes, she loves that. And she loves sharing the love. She's fantastic. We talked about her before. So let's talk real quick about what did we talk about last week in regards to our question that came in for Lulu. I think it had something mm -hmm. to do with um, what actually do we need to expect getting into closing? Mm -hmm. What to expect, yes. Yeah. So what did we hit on just briefly in that video last week? If somebody wants to go back and watch that one. Yeah. Well, they're going to find out that they need to file their homestead exemption. Need to file homestead yeah. exemption. You need to bring uh, probably some funds to closing. You need to wire some funds. You're going to have that CD that we're going to see a couple days before closing. And final inspection. For final walkthrough walk through. inspection. That's mm -hmm. also as well. So if you want to see more about what to expect coming into closing, watch the video from last week. We won't go into it too much more there. But as we are moving through our video today rapidly, I feel like we're moving kind of rapidly through shake. our video today. Lulu shake. Oh, we're going to do a really tr quick trick. Lulu shake. Shake. 
There good you girl. go. For all those who wondered if there Lulu could shake, we got the yeah. shaky shake. Good job, <laughs> Lulu. Good job, honey. All right, so let's get into our question of the day. Let's see if we've got oh, one. It yeah. looks like we've got something the here flag for is Lulu up. today. The flag is up. So let's take a look and see what somebody wrote for Lulu. And by the way, if you haven't posted a question below on the description part of this on YouTube, you can do that. That's where you can say, hey, dear Lulu, and then put your question in there. And then also go ahead and subscribe as well. Lulu mm -hmm. likes likes. She loves likes. Lulu loves likes. Yes. So go ahead and hit the like and the thumbs up button there. Dear Lulu, why, she looked right at me when I said that. She's so attentive. She knows her name. Why <laughs> did I get a check from my lender? Huh. So somebody wants to know why they got a check from their lender. I think from the question, we can kind of assume that this is somebody who's bought a home right? Because they're talking about their lender, their current person they have on their home that's done their lending. And the buyer's saying, why did I get a check from my lender? I've mm -hmm. closed on my house. I'm in this house mm -hmm. and I'm getting a check from my lender. Why do you, why are they getting a check, you think? Well, if it's, if it's from the specific mortgage lender, the servicer, you mm -hmm. know, the person they make their payments to every mm -hmm. month, and it's just past January, it's mm -hmm. probably because that servicer just did an escrow analysis, mm -hmm. right? Because they've just paid the taxes. Uh, they know when your insurance becomes due or mm -hmm. have just paid the insurance. Mm -hmm. So they're going to make an allotment for it going up or going down. Mm. So then this person, they've probably overpaid on their escrow in a sense of now the escrow lender, the lender, the mortgage person, they've said, hey, you, your payments are going to be different in the next 12 months. Because yep. they look at the 12 months kind of going forward, right? Yep. And what they are guessing that all the payments are going to be. So if they get a check back, they've overpaid something. Yeah, and right. but more likely right now is they're getting a notification that their mortgage payment has gone up because mm. taxes and insurance are going up. So this is a rare question or rarity that this would happen in I, this market. It, it's true. I've had two this week, though. So really? Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's unusual, but it does still happen. So yep. when that does happen to somebody and they do get a check, what should they what do? What should they do with it? They should go shopping. Shopping for clothes for Lulu. Clothes for Lulu. Send some clothes to Lulu. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's funny, but, you know, you do, every once in a while in life, you do get a check for something, and what should you do with it? Uh, that's maybe a financial question for one of our financial advisors, but I think it's great to make an extra payment towards your mortgage, because every extra payment you make will decrease the years that you pay on a 30-year mortgage, especially up front early in the loan process. So put some extra money towards your home, your mortgage, and uh, it helps in the long term, right? Absolutely. Any other thoughts? I do. I've got one more, and okay. that is what you might also think about doing if it makes you nervous, mm. the idea of your mortgage payment going up because your escrow becomes short. Yeah. Maybe you take that money and you put it in your escrow account. Great idea. You know, offset that. If that's something that you're sensitive to. Yeah. Some people would And how do care. they know how to do that? Would they call their lender and say, hey, I got some extra funds. I want to put it in my escrow account. How do they do that? They could they absolutely do that. Yeah. If they're familiar with making payments online, many times there's an, an extra field there where they can choose where they want that extra money to go to. Yes, so, great idea, yeah. great thought. Spend it wisely, don't pay interest on that. All good ideas. No, there and, and really no clothes for Lulu. She's got plenty. <laughs> Unless you want to. Okay, so I did get a call from one of my clients yeah. about six months ago, and she said, John, why is my mortgage payment more? Mm. And I knew right away, after helping her and her husband buy a house here in Benita Springs about a year and a half ago, I knew their interest rate didn't change because they right. locked in their interest rate. So that part of it didn't change. Right. So I suggested to her, because I hadn't seen the bill yet, I kind of assumed it was her taxes. So taxes do go up, especially as market values do go up. So mm -hmm. even though your mortgage principal and interest is not going to change on your monthly payments, we've talked about that in previous videos, your homeowner's insurance and your property taxes can go up. And in this market, they have, they have. both. Home insurance, we'll talk about that on another video. Home insurance has gone up because of flood and different hurricanes and things like that. So premiums are going up. And then also taxes have gone up because the market goes up. So as mm -hmm. the market goes up, your home's value goes up. Your home is taxed based on how much it's worth. Correct. Yeah, so th that moves yeah. up as well too. Yeah. Good, good thoughts there. Great question. Yeah. Thank you for the question for Lulu. Yeah. If you have any questions, please post those below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Love for Lulu. Thankful yes. thoughts. Are we thankful for anything this week? We're past uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. We're looking at the rest of February, early March up ahead. I'm thankful for the weather. I know we joked a little I bit. Was Were you going to say just going to say I'm thankful for the idea of it being only 72 and we're cold. We're spoiled. We're cold at 72. We are cold at 72. But I'm thankful for the beautiful weather we have here. I mean, I'm looking outside today. The sunshine. It's just a beautiful day here in Southwest Florida. So I'm very thankful for that. You want to add anything to that? Because we're going to talk about 
cold temperatures how we connect people on the next part of our show here. And that is somebody who is in our network group. We are going, oh, yeah, I think we hit everything, didn't we? Did I think we, hit we that? Uh, Did we miss that? I th- no, I think Why we did. did? Get, yeah, we're good to go I think there. we're good there. And I think now it's time to do the what? The connect. We need to connect somebody. Okay. So we want to connect you with Dr. Cool. He is our air conditioner guy. Uh, I don't have a card, but I think we're going to post something on the screen here for Dr. For sure. Cool. Mark Maynard is fantastic. He'll give you the shirt off his back. Although I don't think you want to see him without his shirt on, although he's a nice guy. He's a wonderful guy, Mark. You know, I love you, uh, but don't take your shirt off and walk around in our different meetings without your shirt on. Uh, but he would give you the shirt off his back. He is our air conditioner guy here in Southwest Florida. He has Dr. Cool. Yeah, he's amazing. Do you his, remember his tagline? Um, if the temperature's oh. running high, call the doctor. That's what yeah. he says. He's got these cool air conditioning vehicles that look like... Uh, Medical 911, what are those they things do. called? Well, Ambulances. it is a 911. When your they air conditioner like is not working in Florida and oh. it's uh, spring, summer, or fall, you need to have somebody that you can call Big time. Um, immediately. Big immediately. And I did not mean to make that rhyme, but that was good. That was very um, good, and he does that for people. Yeah, and don't forget his right-hand girl, yes. Nicole Lytle, who yes. is an amazing addition to his team. They're fantastic. And they're constantly growing. He just bought another um, building and he's actually looking to buy an additional air conditioning company. Yeah. And he's always looking to hire people. So if you are in the area and you want a really good job for a really good person, a family owned and operated business, him and his wife, Jennifer, call, text, or email us. We'll get you in touch with him. And his yeah. contact information is going to be below as well in this video. So feel free to reach out, connect with him directly. Tell him John and Denise sent you. Yeah. How's that sound? He knows <laughs> us both really well. Awesome. Thanks for the video today. Thanks for watching, guys. I think that was a fantastic video. That was probably our Wonderful. best video so far. <laughs> is there anything else you want to add for to that? Sure. Hit the likes, thumbs up. Thanks, guys. See you next